fashion is absolutely definitely in documentary. Narrative photography, you know, pictures that move, that tell a story, that educate perhaps, that inform an audience. Sometimes just either of those things, sometimes all of those things together. That's the kind of photography that excites me. I always used to travel quite a bit um, during school as well. I used to volunteer in South America and do a lot of stuff like that. So I always had a keen, um, a passion for, for to see places, I suppose. I think I've always had a really keen interest in the visual from as long as I can think. I went to Steiner School, um, which, you know, they're very arts oriented. Um, I, when I was little, I always wanted to be either a painter, an astronaut or a singer. So there was, and the painter was the first. My nan was a painter, my, my grandpa had an art gallery. So I think there was always that there. And then photography at the end of the day only came to me, um, after I finished school, um, my friend, childhood friend who I grew up with, whose mother is my godmother, he died a couple of weeks after we um, finished school. We went to school together. And so I um, inherited his, his gear, his Minolta set with all these thousands of weird filters and things. And at the end of the day, that's how I ended up in photography, really. There's so many things I love about documentary photography or documentary as a genre that um, I'm, I don't even know where to start really. But one of the things that I love about it is that um, generally speaking, documentary to me means that you um, you spend, you, ha you have the privilege of doing a long-term body of work. So I love that process. I love being able to return to a place, which I do quite frequently with a lot of my work. Um, I love the idea that because of the returning, whether that's a subject of like a, a person, a family, a, a place, even like a mountain or something, a landscape, I feel like, you know, the, the more that I return to it, the, the more I can learn about it. And um, I love working that way. And that's something I love about the medium. It constantly throws these new things at me. So I, I, e, it gives me opportunity to learn so many things all the time. And that includes kind of like, um, finding a new narrative, finding a, a new way of creating a, a, a narrative. So for example, you know, moving into um, still life, you know, photographing objects in a studio kind of a setting or um, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, and I, I love, I love that. Um, and to me, it's become something quite important. I think to me, the biggest love about doing what I do is doing it works that I'm going to be showing in over various places over the next months or so. Um, most of those will be on our ongoing bodies of work. So, you know, showing them in place doesn't necessarily mean that that's it for that body of work at all. So, for example, um, one of the things that I'm working on and I will be working on, I assume, for a while yet. Um, I want to because it's exciting. It's about, I suppose in a way, it's about my relationship to this new country. Um, and perhaps looking at also our relationship to the place and the land in general. But then moving into um, the decline of the local in regional and remote Australia as well. So, um, and I'm very excited about that body of work. Family Archive, which is going to be huge. <laughs> Um, so there's lots of, lots of exciting things lined up that I can't wait to dig my head into.